Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to properly swing your arms when you're running. Whether you're a sprinter or you're uh, a distant runner, it's all the same thing, okay? One of the biggest thing about arm swing is when most people are swinging their arms, they don't understand that the cadence that you're getting with your feet, right? Your arm create the cadence, right? So think about it. If my arms are going fast, my legs are gonna wanna match that speed. But if my arms are going slow, my legs are gonna go slow. So the main thing to keep in mind is to swing from the shoulders. You wanna maintain a 90 degree right in here in the elbow. And the swinging is not coming from my elbow, right? The swinging is coming from my shoulders, right? So I want elbows going to the sky and my thumbs, I need to be able to see my thumbs, right? They're, 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 this is more comfort for some people. Some people like to think that they're drumming so they're holding like the drumsticks, right? Some people like to let their fingers go. So that's all comfort. It doesn't change nothing. What's important is swinging from the shoulders, 90 degree swinging from the shoulders, right? You don't wanna be running. You don't wanna be running. And when I'm running forward, my arms are going across my body, right? I don't want my arms going like this when I'm running. Look what happens when my arms goes like this, right? Once my arm goes like this, my body twists and automatically my legs are gonna start twisting across my body. So what I want is drumming, I'm going up and down, right? Just like that. Elbows, look at my elbows. My elbows are going to the sky, to the sky, right? So this is what it should look like. Elbows going to the sky, just like that. See that? I'm not twisting this way, right? Because look what happens when I twist this way, my legs, like my knees are buckling. What I want is One of the biggest mistakes most coaches are gonna make and what you're gonna see them have their, co their athletes doing. They have the athletes on the ground and they have them going like this, right? What happens here is, this is okay, but really and truly, you wanna be able to finish that arm swing, right? If I'm trying to finish that arm swing, look what happens. My hand is gonna hit the ground, right? I can't. So what the athlete is gonna do is tighten up the shoulders, get the shoulders to the neck to finish it, right? So you'll see the athlete going like this, right? That's not a good way to teach the arm swing. What you wanna do, have them stand up, that same move, right? Slight lean forward, same thing. You add some weights to this, just like that, same thing. And think about good cues when you're teaching an athlete how to swing their arms. Don't tell them fast arms. Tell them to stroke the arms, drive the elbows, right? Not fast arms. So you notice when I come up, my arm swing doesn't change. So if I go back down, it's the same thing. For my sprinters, even when I get down and I'm in my dry phase and I gradually come up my dry phase, look, my arm swing doesn't change. You could try that exercise with weights in your hand or this is what you do. Get a pair of dumbbells or water bottles, full two water bottles. And when you go for a run, you run with your water bottles. Automatically, it's gonna teach you to swing, right? Your arms. Try that for better arm swings, guys. Stay tuned for more informative videos like this. And if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message and let me know. Thank you.